Yo, what is up guys? It's me, Zach Lee, back bringing some more daily NBA news. Thank you for coming back once again. You guys already know that you are the real MVPs. And if you're new here, if this is your first time stopping by the channel, then welcome. You are also greatly appreciated, but make sure that you smack that sub button and hit the bell as well so you can stay up to date with everything that goes on in the NBA on a daily basis. But now, let's take a look at everything that is going on in the NBA. But first, a quick word about this video sponsor, JumpShotTrainer.com. If you're looking to take your basketball skills, more specifically your shooting to the next level, check out jumpshottrainer.com as their method has been proven to increase your shot accuracy by eliminating interference from your off hand. As always, links are in the description box below. So today we have a lot to talk about when it comes to Kawhi Leonard. Like a lot, a lot, because apparently things are really starting to heat up on the Kawhi trade front. With that disclaimer out of the way though, First up in the news, three days before NBA free agency tips off and it seems like the Cleveland Cavaliers are desperately trying to make some moves in order to keep LeBron James because they know there is no way that LeBron is going to come back to Cleveland if they do not get him a better team because LeBron still does want to compete and there's no way that he can compete with the supporting Cavs that he has with the Cavs. And that is exactly why we got reports in last night claiming that the Cleveland Cavaliers are beyond busy exploring trades right now. And here is exactly what that report had to say about Cleveland and their situation. According to league sources, the Cavs are beyond busy exploring trades and are deep in scenarios to add a dynamic player or two. The article also went on to say that the Cavs are still optimistic about their chances to keep LeBron. Meanwhile, the Cavs indeed have been in touch with LeBron's camp. As Altman mentioned on draft night, LeBron's team has done nothing to ensure LeBron is staying but the Cavs have not been discouraged either. And one of the players that the Cavs are still trying to get is Kawhi Leonard from the Spurs. The Spurs are among the teams being called by the Cavs. Other than the Cavs trying to pry away Leonard, there's no information on who else is being discussed. If a deal ever happens, you can bet that it will cost the Cavs at least Kevin Love or first round draft pick Colin Sexton or both. I'm certain if the Cavs do want to trade for Kawhi, it's gonna be Kevin Love and Colin Sexton. There's no way around that. Personally, I still don't see how that would work out without a third team getting involved because there's no way that teams like Boston, Philly, or LA don't put together a better package than Colin Sexton and Kevin Love. But who knows, Kawhi Leonard's insistence on going to the Los Angeles Lakers may be dissuading some other teams from betting the farm from offering too much for Kawhi Leonard since they are scared that he could just leave them after the year to go to the Lakers anyway. Cleveland is different though because they are so desperate right now. They are desperate because they need to do something in order to keep LeBron James. For our next story of the day, the Boston Celtics might be one of those teams that's a little bit wary of trading for Kawhi Leonard right now. As yesterday, we did get reports in saying that the Celtics discussed a deal with the Spurs, but didn't even make an offer. The Spurs did have a brief discussion with the Celtics today, but there was no real negotiation. It was first contract between the two teams since before the draft, but even those talks did not include the C's making an offer. That brief call, per sources, went nowhere. Here's the thing, if the Boston Celtics did want to trade for Kawhi Leonard, they most likely have to give up a package including Jalen Brown plus the pick from the Sacramento Kings that they have next year, which will at the very least be a top 10 pick in the draft. While that might seem like a no-brainer for the Celtics in order to acquire a top five player in the league, it's not simply because Kawhi Leonard is an expiring contract and he has made it crystal clear that he wants to play in LA. So the Boston Celtics could wind up trading away Jalen Brown plus that Kings pick for a year of Kawhi Leonard just to have him walk. And if they did that, if the Boston Celtics lost out on Brown plus that pick and then Kawhi walks away, they just gave up a big chunk of their future for pretty much nothing at all. On top of all of that, let's not act like we haven't seen this time and time again. Where we all expect Boston to be one of the teams that trades for a big player when a big player becomes available. Last summer, it was Paul George and Jimmy Butler. We all thought that the Boston Celtics would get one, if not both, of those players, but they turned out passing on both when they clearly could have had them if they wanted to. So Kawhi Leonard could very well be the same way. Next up in the news, and this is real quick because it's something that we all knew was going to happen, but it is a news, so I have to cover it anyway. As Paul George this morning, a 
officially let the Thunder know that he is going to be opting out of the final year of his contract. Because why wouldn't he? If he opted in, he would be losing out on a lot of money. This dude is about to make twice as much as he did last year. But this in no way means that he is not coming back to the Thunder. He just wants a bigger payday. For our next bit of news though, we do have to hop right back on the Kawhi Leonard train. I told you guys that there was a lot to come out about Kawhi Leonard and that we'd be talking a lot about Kawhi Leonard. I'm sorry if you didn't believe me in the beginning, but see, I told you so. Anyways, this will be our final bit of news regarding Kawhi Leonard for the day, unless, unless, unless uh, I'm making this video and something huge comes out in which I'll have to add something in, so it might not be the last bit of news, but it, it probably will be the last bit of Kawhi Leonard news. And for the final bit of Kawhi Leonard news, reports claim that the Los Angeles Lakers and the San Antonio Spurs are once again discussing a potential deal for Kawhi. Can confirm Ramona Shelburne's report that the Lakers and Spurs re-engaged today about Kawhi Leonard was told by a source that it was a productive call. Well, they are making progress in discussions, I suppose, meaning that the Spurs are open to the idea of trading Kawhi Leonard to the Los Angeles Lakers. That in and of itself is a lot of progress from like a week ago when the Spurs would refuse to trade Kawhi to the Lakers. But now the problem remains with the price that the Spurs are asking for from LA. As reports also came out yesterday saying that the Lakers are trying to offer the Spurs a similar package to what Kyrie Irving and Paul George were traded for last summer. But it also said that the Spurs want a heck of a lot more than that from the Los Angeles Lakers since the Spurs know that if the Lakers get Kawhi Leonard, that means they are also getting LeBron as well. The Lakers are using Paul George and Kyrie Irving trades as proportional models for a Leonard deal, but San Antonio understands that this trade for intents and purposes would mean Leonard and James coming to the Lakers and will likely command a massive package of young players and draft picks for Leonard, two-time first team All-NBA and two-time NBA Defensive Player of the Year. Look, the Spurs don't want to create another super team in the Western Conference because the Spurs themselves aren't about to be tanking. That's just not what they do. They're always looking to win. That's just the San Antonio Spurs. So you can understand them not really wanting to trade Kawhi to LA because that's just another super team that they have to compete with in the Western Conference. And that is also why they want to make the Lakers pay the ultimate price if they really want to get Kawhi Leonard and LeBron James. Which takes us back to what we were talking about yesterday when it came out that the Lakers could have to give up Ingram, Randall, Kuzma, Hart, and a first round pick just for Kawhi Leonard. The Spurs are really looking to gut LA if they want to do this. And for our final story of the day, there has been a decent amount of talk already this summer about the possibility of Kyrie Irving leaving the Boston Celtics for the New York Knicks in the summer of 2019. And Kyrie Irving himself even said that he is not going to commit to the Boston Celtics just yet, which all raised a few eyebrows, of course. But yesterday Brad Stevens was interviewed and in this interview of course the topic of Kyrie Irving came up and this is how that went down. First off here's the exact question that Brad Stevens was asked. Kyrie Irving is going to be a free agent after the upcoming season. Obviously he requested a trade from his previous team. Did you ever sit down with him to see what he wants in a basketball environment? And here was Brad Stevens response. Yeah we talk all the time about that but I think at the end of the day one of the things that he was really consistent with was he wanted to be in a situation where everybody was excited about the opportunity to compete to win. He came from a winning situation and he came from a situation where they were able to win a championship. And I think like anybody else, he wants that feeling again. But I got the impression that he really enjoyed it here. I know the end of the season was really hard for him. It would be hard for anybody, but he was great. So from the sound of things, Kyrie Irving is pretty happy in Boston. And I think the Celtics are a team that Every player on that team wants to win, wants to compete for a championship. You saw that during this season and especially in the playoffs when the depleted Boston Celtics gave everything they had and almost made it to the NBA Finals. And I'll say it again, I think Kyrie Irving would have to be a little crazy to leave the situation he's in right now because it really seems like they are about to be a dynasty. Anyways, that is going to bring us to today's question of the day. Where do you guys think Kawhi Leonard is about to end up? Should the Boston Celtics risk trading for him? Do the Cleveland Cavaliers have what it takes to make a trade for Kawhi Leonard? Let me know down in the comment section below, but that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to smack that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on more daily NBA news. Thank you once again for watching. I'll see all of you right back here tomorrow, but until until then, 
Keep getting the bugs, Team Entity, and I am out of here. Peace!